This, my friends, is a beautiful 1980 Gibson Les Paul Custom in silver burst. And it has a little bit of a story that I got from the gentleman that I picked it up from, Reverb On. His name was Mike, and he bought it from a vicar at his church. And that person got it from some punk rocker from the Chicago area. So if anybody happens to see this and recognize this guitar, please let me know. I'd like to know a little bit more about the history and the music that's been played on it in the past, which always fascinates me. But this is a really nice and well-worn and well-loved guitar that uh, sounds great. And I'll talk about a couple of the modifications that it's had and some of the wear on it. As you can see, the neck finish has worn off there. And of course the silver has different shades as it ages. And it has the silver burst back as well, which is super cool. Has the Gibson branded Shaler tuners on the back. There's a little bit of a headstock ding there on the corner. Which look, this is honest playware. You know, this isn't a museum piece. It's been, it's been played. It's got several dings on the finish, and you can see some finish cracking here, where they had unfortunately at the time, probably in the 80s. Well, it wouldn't have been before that, since this is a 1980. But put in a toggle switch to split this pickup, and this pickup here is a Demarzio Super Distortion Cream double cream like you normally see but uh, I decided to put a cover over it just for aesthetics but I do love the DiMarzio Super Distortion pickup I think it's great and it sounds awesome on this guitar as I hope you'll agree uh, what else the the bridge the bridge looks kinda newer it might be replaced the knobs are all original and they had added a chrome switch tip which I think is always a nice touch. So it does have newer strap locks that are the larger variety. Uh, so that's nice. It's quite heavy. It's probably around 10 pounds. And uh, yeah, so this is used to split the pickups to single coil and you know, that's not very useful to me. I don't know. I, I, I never feel like a humbucker that's split sounds as good as a real single coil. And I don't know if that makes sense or not, but that's just my personal observation and experience. So yeah, what, what a really cool guitar. And um, let's plug it in and see what it sounds like. Ebony fretboard too, so nice. Mm -hmm. 